Hey, so a couple of you out there were wondering as to how I achieved my slow shutter speed slash time exposure method seen in my film fail. Well, today I'm going to show you a quick tip in After Effects for creating a formalistic light effect that offers both depth and expression in color and line, using only two minor plugins. These plugins are the free plugin Frame Splitter by Dan Fredley over at Creative Cow, and the $10 plugin Sequence Layers by Charles Bordenaire on AE Scripts. Now, technically speaking, you can actually go 100% free on this one, that is, only if you take the extra estimated 2 hours to hand trim and reposition the layers so that they offset and overlap each other. So basically what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the original layer here, which I've stylistically colored blue with RGB curves to create the color drama, and we'll be duplicating the layers so that each frame has its own layer that spans the entire length of the composition. This is so that when we play with offsetting the layers, we'll be able to then create the echo effect. But first, we have to isolate just the light, because this effect is about light and translucency. Okay, let's duplicate the original layer. And add a color range effect to eliminate the shadows. Crank up the fuzziness factor so that we eliminate more midtones, so that's just the light. This also makes it seem more natural. Next, pre-compose the upper layer. The sequence layers effect won't work without doing this step. Once that's pre-composed, go to Scripts and Frame Splitter and select it. This will take every frame from the top layer and put it on its own layer. Now what you need to do is select the, all the frames excluding the very bottom layer and go to the beginning of the timeline and press Alt, beginning bracket, and then go to the end of the timeline and press Alt, end bracket. This is so the frames can overlap each other. Next, staying at the end of the timeline, go to Scripts, Sequence Layers, and a dialog box will appear. Select Frames and type in negative 1. This will shift the frames back a frame in sequence of one another, creating the echo effect. Now, select these layers if they aren't already selected and click the motion blur settings both at the top of the layer panel and beside the layers themselves. Finally, take all those layers and put their blending mode to the desired effect. I'm using lighter color here, but you can also use add or screen, depending on your look. Also, one last thing is that if your effect turns out overexposed, take those selected layers and crank them down the opacity.
Well, that's my tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it.